Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem from the Junior Balkan Math Olympiad from 2006, problem number two. I suggest you try this as geometry problem out, especially if you're beginning to get comfortable, more comfortable in geometry. You know, you've solved a couple of problems. Try it out for a minimum of 20 minutes, ideally 40 to an hour and 20 minutes. Make sure that you got it, though not more than two hours. On the other hand, you'd like to go along with us, give this a go for the next 15 minutes. And now let's begin. So, let's first we have an ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB is AC and BAC is less than 60. Okay, so we have our first diagram is not going to be particularly beautiful. We're just trying to see what the problem is really about in this first one. So, ABC. And now, we have D and E are on the side AC, such that EB is ED. So if I choose, actually, wait a second, I'm choosing E here. EB is equal to ED. And ABD, so A, B, and D is equal to the angle CBE is equal to this angle. Okay, and we must have O is the intersection point of the internal angle bisectors of BDC. So this one, this angle bisector and ACB and this one right here. So they meet at O and we need to determine COD. Okay, so now let's draw a much better diagram. And what are sort of the first couple of things you may notice? Well, let's try to calculate the angles. I think first and foremost, that will be the best thing for us to do at the beginning. So we're going to have this angle as x and x. How do I want to, let's call this one x. I call this one x. And maybe I can call this one alpha minus 2x, and this one's alpha, and this whole thing is 180 minus alpha, minus 2 alpha. So this whole thing will then be, I'll call this alpha, but because I'll have the angle bisector, I'll have maybe an alpha half and an alpha half. Or maybe just to have, I would rather actually have 2 alpha minus 2x here than alpha and alpha. Like what you name these things is not important. And then you have, I mean, unless it helps you in some way, shape or form to better deal with the problem. And at this point, E has an interesting condition. So I see a point E is here. Now such that this, what we say, EB is ED. Just is equal to this. So let's first now see like, before doing this angle bisector, what does this condition for E and D give us as to the angles? So EB is EC, and we have this angle is X is equal to this one. This one is 2 alpha minus 2X. This whole thing, 180 minus 4 alpha. So this whole thing is equal to this plus this, which is 180 minus 4 alpha plus X. And we're going to have that angle bisector of this. And we also have this angle. Okay, so that seems to be about it, if I'm not mistaken. And now what happens when we take these angle bisectors? They meet up at point O. And we must figure out what COD is. So COD, so this will be equal to. 90 minus 2 alpha plus x over 2 and this thing right here would be equal to alpha because this is o bdc bdc and a c b and we must compute cod and it seems to be equal to so it's going to be 90 I'm going to have a plus alpha 
and minus x over 2 unless we've made a mistake somewhere along the way. And let's double check we have alpha, alpha, and this 4 alpha minus x, so this gives us 4 alpha here. All seems to be good. So now we have that COD is 90 plus alpha minus x. And that seems to be about it. That seems how we get this angle right here. That's what it's equal to. But we also have the, wait a second, we haven't used the fact that ED is EB, which we also need to use, right? It's very rare that you'd, when you have to compute something, you usually have to compute what it's actually equal to. And here, we're gonna have this angle is weird. Two alpha minus two X needs to equal this angle, which is 180 minus four alpha plus X. So this gives us the four alpha goes here. Actually, the X can also go here. And we'll get six alpha minus three X is equal to 180. And when we divide by three, we'll get two alpha minus X is equal to 60. So here we have something along the lines of alpha minus X over two. I invite you here to pause for two minutes and figure out how would you combine this and this. And the answer is, well, you divide by two again, and you have alpha mi O minus X over two is 30. And so this whole angle becomes 90 plus 30. So this becomes 120. And so we are done, right? I imagine pause for five minutes and figure out if we're done. And the answer is no, we're not. Because mind you, what did the problem say? E and D are on the side AC, such that this holds true and this holds true. And we sort of, mind you, when you pick a point E, after doing that, you pick D, right? Now, we have assumed, when we pick an E, there are two points on AC, such that EB is EX, there are two points X, such that that is true. And we've made an assumption that it's over here. Who says it can't be over here? Why not? And actually, this problem seems, at first glance, to be very easy, right? Uh, like, oh, I just calculated all the angles. Easy peasy. Why is this on the junior block of math like that? It's just angle tracing. But you're wrong if you think that, because people did not get full credit if they didn't look at this case. In fact, I don't think they, I don't know the exact num number of points they got, but it wasn't a solved problem. What we've done now is we've solved half of the problem, maybe, but not the full problem. So we need to check whether that case can actually be possible. And I invite you to pause for five minutes now and check the case where we have this triangle ABC. And mind you, we haven't also used that this is less than 60 in any way, shape, or form. Right? That just means that alpha is less than what's it called actually because this is less than 60 means two alpha is greater than 60 so alpha is greater than 30 which is very funny given what we had here so now let's check that case and e would have to be here and then d would have to be somehow here on this side this is equal to this and we still have the angles BDC, and ABC, ABD, ABD, and CBE. So these are equal, but let's call this one X and X, two alpha minus two X. Let's see what we have now. Now this one will be 180 minus four alpha. Again, we have two alpha. And now this angle right here becomes 180 minus four alpha plus X. So actually here's where I invite you to pause for the next 15 minutes and try to push the problem for 10 minutes actually and push the problem further. 
And here's the next step. So we have E, B, Z, D. So the sum of these, this angle is equal to 2 alpha uh, minus 2x. Well, now what seems to be the problem? Well, you can go about it many ways. One is that this angle plus this one is equal to 2 alpha plus x. So this angle is 180 minus 2 alpha plus x, which means this angle is also 2 alpha plus x on the other hand. And so we would have that 2 alpha plus x needs to be the same as 2 alpha minus 2x. However, what do we have? Well, we have that from here, it will follow that x is equal to 0, right? The alphas cancel out, which is a contradiction of a sort that says that these points actually, E would have to correspond to A and D to C. Though actually, is this a contradiction? It just says, hmm, maybe then they're not on the side A, B, A, C. And though I have, I have A, B, it would be like A, B, A is zero is C, B. So actually wait, D would correspond to C. C, so I have A, B, C would then be equal to C, B, A. And in that case, we would have the internal angle bisector of, so B, D, C would be A, B, C. And I'll have A, C, B. So I'd have this would be I. So O would be the same thing as the in center. And then C, O, D. C, O, C, O, D will be equal to zero. I think in general, I think when you get the sort of X is equal to zero, it usually does imply that these points are, are concurrent. And you could make the argument that that may, makes this zero, but I think the correct argument here that was made was that this means we this is impossible. It's impossible for the the ordering of the points to be A E D C on the on the segment A C, but rather it has to be A D E C. Now this finishes up the problem, and as always, thanks for problem solving.